Robots with artificial intelligence are already here. Up until now, they've mostly been focused on assisting humans with well-defined tasks. But what about artificial intelligence that can come up with its own ideas? What about AI creativity? Well, that's what Gil Weinberg is exploring in his lab at Georgia Tech. We really want to capture something universal about music and emotions. This is Shimon, a robot that uses artificial intelligence to write and perform its own musical compositions. Shimon represents an interesting exploration of the future of artificial intelligence. How can AI tools be leveraged to create? This also begs certain questions like, what is creativity? Can it be produced by robots? Also, can robots battle rap? Apparently, the answer to that one is yes. We're about to battle rap a robot. What's up? Gil Weinberg has dedicated his career to making human-robot music collaborations a reality. Music for me is the most amazing experience. The holy grail is to create new experiences that will give me this shiver down the spine approach, me and, and my listeners. He's created several musical robots and AI-controlled music devices like this. This is Jason Barnes, the world's first bionic drummer. His drumming arm was designed by Gil. AI for music and robotics will allow people like Jason Barnes, who is an amputee, and almost lost his passion to do anything, to be a musician. But with Shimon, Gil is trying something different, a robot that creates its own music. Shimon is a robotic musician. What I mean by musician is that it understands music and it doesn't follow instructions, it creates its own ideas. Shimon actually writes songs. To accomplish this, Gil and his team trained Shimon on a data set of around 40,000 progressive rock and jazz songs. We started with Monk and Coltrane. They also trained Shimon on music theory and what's known as rule-based AI. So rule-based would mean go to a jazz textbook and see how they teach in textbooks jazz improvisers to improvise. But the real magic is in how Shimon adds his own spin on things. It uses genetic algorithms and fractals and machine learning and all kinds of processes that humans will never use when they are creating music. And here the promise is that it will create something novel that will be surprising and inspiring. That's how it pushes the envelope. All of this work led to Shimon V1, a robot that understands the rules of music composition, can listen to human performers and respond to them with its own improvisations in real time. The latest version of Shimon takes things to the next level by adding a singing capability and integrating features that capture human emotion and expression. It's pretty crazy. I asked the team if they think of Shimon as a machine or as an individual. I think of him more as a robot when he's not working for me. If I'm like angry at him, I think, oh, this, this machine, how dare it. But when he's working, it, it kind of feels like, I don't know, sort of a buddy that you have who's playing music for you. So, yeah. Lisa's work is focused on Shimon's head movements, his expression. She's a PhD student and helps lead the project to figure out what kind of movements Shimon should do based on what he's playing, how his eyebrows should move how to make Shimon convey that he's kind of feeling what he's listening to or playing. When he detects a tempo, it will bob the head with the tempo and immediately you feel that he's grooving with you. It's a completely different sense. Shimon also writes his own lyrics. For lyrics, we use deep learning. I gave Shimon a theme. I gave him a couple of priming words. For example, in one song it was space and time. I tried to keep it abstract. And then it went and generated a bunch of lyrics around the notion of space and time. Gil's team then sends those lyrics with the melodies yeah. Shimon has written to another team in Barcelona that synthesizes Shimon's voice. Shimon's voice, as you hear it, is completely new, and they trained it on many uh, voice samples. By my side. If you ask me, Shimon's singing is pretty impressive. But singing isn't the only thing Shimon does. Shimon also raps. But not just any kind of rap. Shimon is a battle rapper. I'm sure I'm not the only person who grew up on hip hop who's fantasized about being in a rap battle. You know, like that Eminem movie, Eight Mile. 
I finally got my chance. Well, sort of. And we're ready to go. I'm fighting for my time with the mathematical prime. Aeronautical, cynical, sublime. The clock is on my rhyme. The clock is unwind your rhyme. You gotta do it double time, Shimon. Always on time, not in your head. If you couldn't already tell, neither Shimon or I are professional battle rappers. But for Shimon, there's some hope. You're trying to make a claim. I want to be a human. This is the very first version of Shimon Raps, V1.0. Rapping with Shimon did feel like we were collaborating. I felt connected to Shimon. Maybe not as a human, but not exactly a cold, heartless robot either. It was pretty cool. A city of rap distortion. Don't ask a first dangerous conversations. There's an old saying that there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that's new is just some repurposing or new combination of old ideas. In my experience, the most creative people are the ones who consume the most ideas and are best at recalling and synthesizing them in an interesting way. That's basically what Shimon does. And in the future, robots that can consume ideas will likely also get really good at synthesizing them in ways that resonate with and surprise humans. Shimon is a working first step. I don't know if he, or it, will be entering professional rap battle circuits anytime soon. But until then, let's enjoy the music. Someone throw me a word, I'll try to work it in. Robot, cobot. I need mobots in my life. Like and subscribe, we might give you a bribe in the form of a sweatshirt. I rhyme until my head hurts. Press that follow button. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Ta-da.